But in my experience, trying to make music for people rarely works. Um, and the reason I think it works, and I have tried to dig into this because I've experienced this in different creative verticals as well. So I've experienced this working with graphic designers, say, where you work with someone um, and you work with them because you like what they do, but then you give them really specific instructions about what you want. And it kind of brings them to a place where they give you not what's them, but not what you want either. Okay, that's a different vertical as an example. But for me, I think you should always make the music that you want to hear. And you've got to be honest with yourself, like the music that you would play with the other music you buy. Yeah, and so that's a, a way of kind of getting some context. Like if you have uh, a way of, you know, maybe you've got Serato to mix your music if you use vinyl or you've got CDJs or you've got some controller or you, maybe you've even just got um, the, uh, the record box software. Playing your music with the music you love, you can be honest about yourself. Would I play this? Most people come from a DJing background, right, who are making electronic music or they have some sense of like wanting to, to play the music. Um, but that's how you can kind of, you can test your own honesty as to whether this is something that I really like. Because sometimes you say, oh, I like this, I really like this. And then you go to play it and you're like, I would not play this. Um, and if that's the case, then, you know, there are probably other people like you who wouldn't play it. So my answer is make the stuff that is you, okay? Make the stuff that's you and then try and find someone for it or put it out yourself, create the space yourself and then approach people with stuff. But I don't think um, trying to make stuff bespoke for labels 